starting a project that's going to impact thousands of drivers. 7 News reporter Elise Devlin has more on the work on the Church Street Bridge. City officials tell me that with this new project comes traffic changes, parking changes, and a lengthy construction timeline that drivers should be aware of. For years, the Church Street Bridge has served as the gateway to Greenville, and in turn, it's felt the effects of the never-ending traffic passing through. Like a number of bridges in South Carolina, this one is 50 years old or older. Now the thousands of upstate residents whose daily commutes include the bridge will have to make a change as it gets an upgrade. Officials say the bridge's new look will include aesthetic repairs with plans of becoming a staple in the city's skyline. Uh, some of the things that will be done, the bridge deck will be redone, the railings and sidewalks will be retrofitted to uh, make them safer. The West side sidewalk will be expanded out nine, to a total of nine feet wide. Uh, there'll be some painting and some aesthetics. But there are a number of things planned to make this not only just a functioning bridge, but to make it a, an attraction for downtown Greenville. But he says keeping the age of the bridge in mind, aside from the visual element, it will also include much needed safety and functional repairs. It's reached the end of its uh, it's, it's shelf life, if you will. I mean, it's still safe, but we want to make it safer. He says while nearby residents say the project has its downsides, they are looking forward to the end result. I think in the long run, it'll be better for Greenville. It might be frustrating at first, but I think the outcome will be great. South Carolina Department of Transportation says they have already planned out detour routes and says the construction will begin this summer with crews mostly working at night. City leaders say that this project is estimated to last between 12 to 18 months. They say the bridge will remain open for majority of that time, but it will be reduced to one lane in each direction for the entirety of the project. In Greenville, Elise Devlin, 7 News. City Council asking that the project leaders notify folks nearby when the construction work will begin.